Hello, welcome to another edition of Northern Southerner Beer Reviews with your host Jonathan Brown on a really, really nice, relaxing bank holiday. Saturday, not bad. Anyway, I've got a real big beer now. I'm looking forward to this because I've kept it a while in the back and um, I thought I'm in the mood to do this one. It is from Holland and it's from a Trappist brewer in Holland. Holland's only Trappist brewer. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's from La Trappe. And it's their quadruple. Lovely jubbly boys and girls. Feast your eyes on that baby. Coming in at a mighty 10% ABV. As you can see there, there is the badge. If I point it out, it says authentic Trappist product. All the other Trappist breweries are in Belgium. So this Trappist brewery was... Um, founded in 1884 in a place called Berkel Enschot near Tilburg in Holland. 1884-1969 the brewery was operating for charitable causes producing Trappist Lager. Now that sounds interesting, a Trappist Lager. 1969, Abbey uh, licensed its operations to the Artois Brewery. Now, of course, a lot of people out there will be familiar with Stella Artois. Artois Brewery is actually owned by InBev. Um, InBev is a big, massive organisation which owns a lot of brands, including Lef. I think they do Budweiser as well. So they're, they're a big concern. In 1980, the deal with Artois ended. They decided to brew top fermented beers, the double and triple, in 1987. In 1992, the Blonde came along. Um, I'm not too familiar when the Quadruple came along. I tried looking it up. I couldn't see. <laughs> anyway, the water is drawn from a well 200 metres below the, um, below the um, monastery or ab mon monastery brewery and um, the spent grain from the warts um, is filled and used to feed the abbey's cows and stuff so it's you know recycled and everything now I'm looking forward to this because I think this is going to be gorgeous I'll read the back for you La Trap strongest style with a stunning amber colour as an intense yet mild flavour um, brewed with water from their own spring a lot of stuff in foreign writing uh, it says here that it should be served at 10 to 14 degrees now I don't keep my beers in the fridge I always keep them out in the back I've got a little rack with them in I sometimes stare at them like children like you do so let's go I'm gonna crack her open so I'm waffling on like you do and there is the La Trappe Crown, Q for quadruple. They do a, a range of beers. I have only had one other La Trappe beer, which my good mate Panikos sent to me, and it was their Bot beer, and it was absolutely wonderful. So, let's see, there's loads. It's, it's, it's kind of like looking at the bottle now since I've opened it. It's set off a load of sediment in the bottle. There is tons of it, absolute tons. So, let's see what we'll get from that. And there's a kind of a dark, dark, rich aroma. It's like a, a dark, rich fruitness, it's like a raisin there, but it's not spiced, it's just dark and rich. And quite a little bit maltiness there, but it smells wonderful. So for a, a special beer, I think it's gotta be special. I'll get the old chalice out now and again, like you do. So let's whop her in. I think she's going to be absolutely wonderful. And there we go. So I can get her all in. As you can see there, she wants to escape over the side of the glass, but I'm not going to let her. And uh, she has come out, funny enough, she's she's like a glowy, a, a glowy red colour. I was expecting it to be darker for some reason. I don't know if I'm thinking of the St. Bernie 12, 
you know, that was quite dark looking. I was I thinking I was imagining it to be on the same lines of that really, but it's got a beautiful hazy gold, hazy red, should I say, glow to it. Quite a bit of sediment in it. There's a lot of sediment in this. I can see it now. Um, so let's topple up. Let's get all that goodness in. All the sediment in. There we go. I'm looking forward to this. So, let's see what we get off the... Still got that... Yeah, I'm getting that dark yeasty brownness there now but you're getting also the light nice fruity fruity notes there you do get a sense of the alcohol as well you do smell that slight alcohol it, to it but it does smell nice it really does so boys and girls cheers i'm gonna go in You get a spiced up cherry. The things feel a little bit spicy, but you do get the strength. I'll give, I'll give it that. You do get the strength. It's really, really nice. Quite smooth on the palate. It's funny because it feels sweet in the mouth, but when I'm when I'm swallowing it, it does feel a slight dry on the back end. Mm. It's kind of like a, a sherry or pork kind of sweetness to this, in a way. I think I'm picking, picking up like a dark red grape. Definitely something viney there in the taste. But it is, one, it is really nice. It's a, it's a cracking beer. Um, out of all the quads, you know, the St. Bernie... The, the Westy 12. Um, for me, where does it stand with, you know, with all the other quads and the Washful 10? For me, the Washful 10, for me, it's the best quad. It's the best one. It's, it is the... Um, for me, that is the smoothest and the most refined one. The, West, the Westy 12, I think you got to age it to appreciate it and I never aged it to appreciate it enough the Bernie 12 um, was great and this is in line with the Bernie 12 for me it, it is, it's, it's nice it's, it's a hell of a beer um, it isn't smooth you're getting the carbonation on it you're getting spiced cherry um, you're getting dark red grape. You're getting a slight dryness as you swallow. But all in all, boys and girls, it's a wonderful beer. Um, and I shall get some more of it and I will, I think I will age one to see um, how it improves as well. Because um, I got this about three months ago. From the cheese and wine shop in Darlington. So if you're in Darlington, go there, see that kitty. He does some great Belgian beers and Dutch beers. <laughs> we talk about this one. Um, for me, it's great. It's a fantastic beer. And um, well worthy. Well worthy for everybody to give this one a go. So boys and girls, thank you for watching this review. Um, as always, please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please leave a comment if you feel the need to. Or completely <coughs> excuse me, disagree with what I come out with. Which is fair enough, you know, I won't be offended, everyone's got their own opinion, and that's what makes it all interesting. So boys and girls, highly recommend that one, La Trap Quadruple, coming in at 10%, gold of it, it's a really nice, really nice beer, it really is. Thanks for watching again, and um, see you boys and girls soon, so cheers.